Welcome back to Homesick for Free Space 2 here on Paladin Gaming. We're going to the ninth mission where heroes go to die. Two TV war air destroyers, the GTD Barbican and the PVD Manacle, have been located elsewhere in this debris field, and we are on our way to their position. We plan to board the Manacle and discover where these destroyers entered this system. The custodian will enter the area and pull up beside the Manacle. Alpha and Beta will watch over the custodian during this operation. The Tefnut will be deployed and will dock with the Manacle. The Tefnut's crew will board the Manacle, search for information as to where the TV air of a student's entered the system, and also scavenge for supplies. It is absolutely imperative that the Tefnut and the Manacle survive this mission, team. Once the Tefnut is finished, we all depart immediately. While the Manacle is stable enough for boarding, unlike the Barbican, both still could very easily go down, and we don't want to be trapped between them when that happens. We have to remember that pirates are in system, as evidenced by the recent attack on us by the Trotsky and the Guevara. They could attack us, or the destroyers, at any time. Also, although we have no good reason to doubt that the Vasudans are still running around in the nebula, with the luck we're having, they'll turn up too. Primary objectives, protect the custodian and protect the Tefnuts. Alright, we will take Herks. And rockets for me. Okay. Let's hit it. Alright, we're heading between the destroy in the gap between the destroyers. Tefnut, are you ready to dock with the manacle? Ready, we'll board the manacle once you're in position. Boarding the manacle now. Straight in the docking bay. These destroyers must have been here for, what is it, 30 years, just drifting here under the gaze of this blue giant. It is indeed an evocative image, though how TV battle groups managed to get here before Laramus was even discovered boggles the mind. Well, that's what we're going to find out, team. Keep posted. We're trapped between these destroyers, and I don't want to risk jumping out between them if I can. To watch for hostiles. Well, then why are we parked between them? Well, this is a sensor masking thing. This is the Tefnut boarding party. Repeat the Tefnut boarding party. Come in, custodian. Custodian here, what is it? My co-pilot has discovered intact caches of supplies. Loading them now. We're also downloading the manacle's navigation logs. Get done as soon as possible, Tefnut. Custodian out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God. PCs of Iris ambush ships, we're under pirate attack, reading two wings of interceptors and two wings of superiority fighters, all pilots engage. Surrender your ships to be destroyed, mercenaries. Kill them all, pilots. The Alpha take out the of the wing, working for some reason. I don't know why the recording cut out there. I think I caught it in time. Not the we 
We have left the medical custodian. We're pulling out, pilots. Cover us in the Tethnets. Force here is attacking the Tethnets. Stop them, pilots. Stop them. Corsair is down. Firewing loaded with rogues on torpedoes. Shoot them down, team. As soon as I shoot my six. Versus. Oh, not out. <laughs> How did I, uh... bombers. We're gonna be able to part with the Guevara in our backs. Pilots destroy, destroy the Guevara. <laughs> the Guevara's been destroyed. The Guevara's been destroyed. Good work, team. Ow. So clear the destroyers. Jumping out now. Tef, no, are you also jumping? Yes. Excellent. All right, looks like it's just me left. Let's hit it. Excellent job, team. We came out of this engagement with three prizes. Firstly, the destruction of the pirate cruiser Guevara. Without her, the pirates have only one cruiser to launch an attack from, and their firepower and mobility is greatly reduced. That's one more opponent we don't have to worry about. Secondly, we gained the advantage of supplies that were still intact aboard the Manacle. Most notably, I'm proud to present you all with Prometheus Cannons. Well, these are only retrofits, never mind, won't be using them, and have difficulty taking down shields, they'll prove a change from the same old Subak cannons we've all been using. Subaks are better in every way, I'm never going to use those. Finally, we have found the location of the jump node, in a way. The Manacle is pursuing a Terran cruiser when the Terrans opened up an uncharted subspace node and went on through. The Vasudans followed them. Although the Manacle did not have the coordinates for the jump nodes, this, this side and the other sensor logs know the Fenris class crews of the GTC shield as being the one who opened the jump node. That's our next destination, people, and then home. Our prospects are certainly looking a lot brighter now, aren't they? Well, wouldn't their logs know where the this end of the node was? And wouldn't they know which system they were in when they jumped into the node? Alright. No recommendations. Whew. <sighs> Nine total kills, two assists. I did have to turn down the medium because Corsair Wing, like, just jumps the uh, Tefnut and at higher difficulties, you can't stop them in time. One Herc, three Lokis, one Seth, three Toss, and one Otten Cruiser. Bring our all-time total for the campaign to 41 with 12 assists. So this was Where Heroes Go to Die, the ninth mission of uh, the Homesick Campaign for Free Space 2 here on Paladin Gaming. 
This is Paladin Gaming, signing off.